It's always a joy to see many familiar faces in the pews. I normally attend the 915, but I know many of you, um, and I relish the times that we spend together in our pews or at coffee hour or whatever we are doing in support of the church. Of late, I have personally sensed a renewed energy and buzz in our congregation, which has energized me. And I am both touched and honored uh, to have been asked to say a few words this morning on Campaign Sunday about my role as an ambassador. And first, I'd like to give a wave to my husband, Peter, um, who is unable to be with us but is watching from home. And secondly, I'd like to say hello to all of you out there tuning in to worship this morning. I'm very jealous if you are in your pajamas. Um, I said that to the 915, but if you're really in your pajamas at 11, I'm really jealous. So <laughs> even from a distance, you are very much a growing part of our St. Clement's family, and it's important we have ongoing touch points to keep us all connected. When I was asked to take on the role as an ambassador for our Giving for Growth campaign, I couldn't help but think of our former federal MP, Carolyn Bennett, who has recently been appointed as ambassador to Denmark. And she served our country for many years in Ottawa, and I'm sure her new challenge feels just right for her. And just the same way I feel it is the right time for me to step up into this role. I am excited to be counted as an ambassador in support of St. Clement's, which I have been a member of for over 40 years. Where many churches are struggling for survival, we have an opportunity to grow in so many directions that are both life-affirming and very exciting. We ambassadors, when we visit, for the most part, do so as duos, two of us. And our goal is simple to visit with you casually and share with you the new inspired vision for St. Clement's. Our hope is that once you hear about the needs and dreams of what could be, you will prayerfully give some thought as to whether you can help the church at this point in your life reach its potential. That question of support is your personal decision to make in your own timeline. What I personally love about being ambassador is using this moment in our church's history to strengthen our community by meeting more of you in a personal way. Current research is showing that loneliness is a growing social issue for youth, for adults, and for seniors. You and I are the fortunate ones. We have a community in St. Clement's that we all just need to explore and grow to meet growing needs. Everyone, at whatever age and stage, as the clergy tell us, are welcome to join our community. I have to say that the youth at the recent Monday Thursday service where I was serving as a sacristan blew me away. And I really mean they blew me away both in numbers and execution of the service. It's a tribute to all of them. On a recent visit with a fellow ambassador to a couple who had been associated with the church for many years, I asked each of them what had kept them affiliated with our church. One said the music, and I knew she had experience in a former choir, and music was very dear to her soul. And the other said the constant feeling of community with many of you over the years, in spite of ups and downs and changes and challenges. I am truly confident St. Clement's will reach its goal by all of us coming together as a community of faith. And I will end by saying that if you feel called to be an ambassador, please let us know. We can certainly use your support as we want to meet with everyone in the church in the near future just to share the exciting new vision, and you will be supported at all levels. For those of you that I have visited, thank you for your warm welcome, and I look forward to meeting more of you in the days ahead over 
perhaps even a piece of Danish cheese. Just kidding. Thank you. <laughs>